Hi everyone, welcome back to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast, your daily audio summary of the latest news reported in the Ukrainian media. Sorry for an unplanned break, I've caught some nasty stomach infection, but luckily I'm feeling better already. My name is Artem, and here is the news. 610 days less the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Denmark announced a new military aid package worth about 520 million US dollars to Ukraine, reports European Pravda. The new Danish aid package will include the T 72 EA tanks, BMP 2 infantry fighting vehicles, artillery ammunition, drones, small arms, and armored maintenance and evacuation vehicles. The supply of the latter is financed jointly with Germany. Troyes Lund Poulsen, Danish Minister of Defense, noted that the aid package was formed after the meeting with his Ukrainian counterpart Rustem Umerov. The US also announced the allocation of the new 150 million US dollars military aid package for Ukraine, report Slovo i Dilo. The Pentagon specified that the military aid package includes additional projectiles for the NASAMS air defense systems, i.e. missiles for air defense, Stinger man pads, projectiles for HIMARS systems, artillery shells, anti tank missiles, and missile launchers, 2 million rounds for small arms, night vision devices, explosives, winter equipment, and other auxiliary equipment. In his evening video address, President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky thanked both Denmark and the US for their support and said that the help that is envisaged in these packages is what truly helps to protect the lives of people on the front lines. We would really appreciate if you could recommend us to your friends and family as well as share information on social media. This way more people would learn about the podcast and truth about Russia's invasion. Almost 80% of Ukrainians would vote in favor of Ukraine joining NATO, said the survey conducted by the rating sociological group Reports Ukrainska Pravda. Also, more than 60% of Ukrainians believe that elections should be held in Ukraine only after the war is over, no matter how long it lasts for. 94% of Ukrainians believe in Ukraine's victory in the war against Russia and 68% of those surveyed believe in the restoration of the sovereign integrity of the state within the borders of 1991. Respondents were also asked to name countries who help Ukraine the most. The absolute majority, 69%, mentioned the US and then, by a noticeable margin, there are Poland, 51%, and the UK, 44%. Interestingly, these countries were at the top of the rating in previous surveys as well, but in comparison with the one conducted in February 2023, the mentions of Poland have dropped significantly from 71%. According to Bloomberg sources, China will not participate in the meeting of national security advisors in Malta, where more than 55 countries will discuss the Ukrainian peace formula, reports Ukrainska Pravda. The list of participants includes the G7 countries Qatar, South Africa, India and Turkey. Some countries such as Brazil and Chile are expected to participate online. The publication notes that Beijing's absence will be a disappointment for Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, who is trying to gain international support for his plan to achieve a lasting and just peace. Bloomberg also points out that Beijing's involvement in the peace summit is critical for Ukraine, as China is one of the few countries that have some influence over Russian President Vladimir Putin. China sent a delegate to the previous meeting in Saudi Arabia in August. Thank you for listening to the Highlights from Ukraine podcast, we are a commercial initiative of just two people. To support us, subscribe to our Patreon, following the link in the description to this episode. This will really help us. We call on you to demand from governments of your countries to impose the toughest sanctions possible on Russia and its citizens to stop their invasion of Ukraine.